Hi, welcome to another episode of I Am Trans News. I am your hostess as always, Novana Beta. And today I'm going to be talking to you, unfortunately, about another trans woman who has lost her life. Um, so, um, her name is Jenny D. Leon. And uh, this article just came out on November 14, 2021. Without further ado, I'm going to read the article for you, okay, and fill you in on what happened to her, okay? So, this article was posted by LGBTQ Nation, and it's called Florida Trans Woman Becomes the Latest Victim from Anti-Trans Violence as Death Toll Grows, okay? So, it says here, Jenny D. Leon, a homeless trans Latino woman, was found dead outside a house in North Tampa less than two weeks ago. Police have declared her death a homicide, which would make her at least the the 46th transgender person or non-gender conforming person to fall victim to murder or a violent death in 2021. Now, as you already know, I did a, a, a video about the... Uh, the missing trans and non-gender conforming people. And that was about 375. So she unfortunately would be part of that or she would be the 376. Um, yeah, but um, it says here, <sighs> okay, that adds to the already 45 fatal um, victims to anti-trans violence acknowledged by the human rights campaign the uh, the most of the LGBTQ advocacy groups have errors in their records it says here her death counts as um, what does this say the fourth normal murder of a trans person in Florida in 2021 it says here all of the women who were trans who were killed, they were of color, so they all were POC, okay? Their names were um, Alexis Braxton, uh, what's her name? Carrie Washington, Royal, Royal, who I did the, my first article on, and then, of course, um, Jenny, she makes the fourth so, um, let me see if there's anything else that I can... Okay, there's a little bit of more information here. It says here, uh, I mean, Jenny, Jenny Body was found on the suburb road right next to a busy street in the Sulphur Springs neighborhood. Uh, she, dis she was discovered early in the morning, Tuesday, November 2nd. Okay, so her body was found on November 2nd. Okay, just trying to go through because there are, there are quotes in here, and I'm just scrolling through uh, the quotes because um, those are just quotes telling about talking about her family and rem remembering her and things like that. Okay, so it says here, uh, boom boom. Okay, there is a fundraiser uh, for Jenny's funeral expenses. It says here they've raised almost thirty five hundred dollars. Uh, the fundraiser is on Facebook, so I'm assuming if you look up Jenny's name, I'm gonna spell it out for you too. Okay, right now. Okay, so that's G E N N Y. Then it's um, the middle. It's like you know how your name can be like it's like D Leon, so it's like one name, but it's two. You know. Or separate. So it's D-E and then Leon, which is L-E-O-N. Okay. If you want to donate to um, to the foundation to help with the funeral expenses. Okay. So, yeah, that's all that I see here. So, unfortunately, like I've already said, we another trans woman has died another trans person has died and 
it's just, I don't know. I don't know what to say in these moments, you know, when reporting this besides just getting y'all the news, giving y'all the news. So, um, with all that being said, thank y'all for watching. Um, if you have any information about her case or you know her and you want to say anything about, about her, you know, just leave it in the comment section below. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you can know when more content notifications come or more content comes and you'll be able to see like the updates and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, as always, I am Novana Beta and this is I Am Trans News.